Hello, this is Steve Wilson and the XCraft CRJ Family video tutorial series. In this video, we will cover the autopilot as well as vertical modes. In other words, how to use the autopilot to change or maintain your altitude. Alrighty, in the cockpit here, we have the autopilot panel, top center of the forward control panel, basically the flight guidance control panel, otherwise known as the FGCP. Let's show you how that works. Okay. Bear with me, I'm going to set up the cockpit so we can show you a few things. Notice our heading bug. Turn on the flight director. And we adjust our heading by dragging, uh, by, by clicking and dragging. We can sync uh, to the runway heading by the current aircraft heading basically by pressing the center of the knob. Um, let's see, if we want to adjust our target airspeed, we use the speed knob. Basically, left and right, left, left and right side. Push the center. It changes from changes the indication from not indicated airspeed to Mach, and that's pretty straightforward. There, changing the altitude, right top right hand corner views, of course, the altitude knob, and the it's basically at two modes. Uh, the outer rings, the larger arrows, are a hundred, uh, excuse me, a thousand feet uh, per click. The smaller arrows are one hundred feet per click in each direction of course and if we want to change our vertical speed we also use the speed mod, the speed knob but we select vs and when the when the arrows are highlighted we basically get 100 feet per minute changes with each click okay that pretty much takes care of using the panel controls themselves but we can also adjust our autopilot values using the tectonf tectonf fms on the autopilot page uh, I'm going to set a target altitude to 12,500 feet, target airspeed of 240 knots, and a vertical speed of 2,000. Good to go there. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, make sure the aircraft is ready to fly. Okay, let's see. Engine no takeoff data. Let's go ahead and fix that. I want to select TO. And it gives me TO1. I want Alt T01, a standard operating procedure for many airlines. Uh, let's see. So I've got Alt T01. Flaps, I don't have anything set yet, so let's go ahead and set flaps of 9. And there we go. And it's going to slowly select 9 there. Okay, we're good, good there. Let's go ahead and check the trim setting for this particular set of parameters. We want uh, five degrees, five units up, I should say, for flaps nine. That's set. So the only thing I should have yet to do is to release the brakes. No takeoff brakes. I love being right. Okay, so let's go ahead and take off here. Uh, our V speeds. CR 123 for V1, 123 for our rotate, and 134 for V2. Good to go. Fully briefed. Let's let the, let's light the fires. Get out of VS. I'm going to use FLC when I take off. Brakes released. We are rolling, and hopefully I can get this done smoothly here. So basically what I'm going to do as I, as I take off is I'm going to select FLC as soon as I'm off the ground and uh, retract the gear with a positive rate. Here we go. V1, rotate. V2. FLC selected. Climb. Gear. Let go of the, let the airport. The autopilot take over, and we are in FLC. We are good. I took off a little bit steeply. Let's just pretend that was for noise abatement. The aircraft's leveling off. It's speeding up to 240 knots. Let's go ahead and engage heading hold mode. Don't want to go wandering around the sky. So as the aircraft starts to pitch up now, okay, I'm going to backstop it to make sure that it doesn't go too far beyond 240 knots. That's just a little bit of a technique thing. Uh, at low altitudes, it can get beyond 240 pretty quickly. Um, 
even with Altio uh, one. So uh, want to be sure that we allow the aircraft to settle in with a with, with a, a pitch angle that uh, will will hold uh, two two hundred and forty knots. Okay, uh, what was I getting at uh, with FLC? FLC is an, an automated climb schedule. Uh, and what do I mean by that? <clears throat> well, as we're climbing uh, to altitude, uh, we're, we're, we're passing through less and less dense air. So the aircraft can go faster and faster, um, more efficiently. And that's more, you know, always want to have the thrust levers fully forward when you're in a particular thrust mode. Um, so now we're getting closer to 10,000 feet. And as, as we're climbing, the air is getting less dense. So the aircraft can move faster, uh, more efficiently. And what, uh, what happens with FLC is it allows for that by changing from 240 knots to 270 knots between 10,000 and 12,000 feet. It does this automatically. And uh, that's one of the reasons I wanted to, to show you this right off uh, the bat on the takeoff, uh, mainly, mainly because, of course, we get there so quickly. The aircraft loves to climb. And uh, now you can see it happening. The, uh, over on the left-hand side here, you can see the airspeed, the target airspeed slowly being increased, uh, and it'll stop at uh, 270 knots as we pass through 12,000 feet. Uh, we'll level off at 12,500 12, pretty quickly after that, and then I'll demonstrate a few other uh, vertical modes, in other words, ways we can change our altitude. Uh, we'll hear a little ding here. There we go. And uh, that's letting us know that we're getting close to our altitude. We need to pay attention uh, on the far right here. The altitude is going to go from yellow to green. That basically means it's captured. And as we get out, get uh, to altitude, we're going to have to slow down. In other words, uh, retard the, the uh, thrust levers just a bit. And help the aircraft slow down to maintain its altitude. It's very easy to overshoot if you're not on the throttles very carefully, which I was not. So I've kind of demonstrated uh, unintentionally the wrong way to do it. And we just make sure that we keep the speed under control and uh, maintain our airspeed properly. And the aircraft will eventually get down to the level we want. But uh, I don't want to waste your time on that. So we'll just go ahead and uh, try something else. I'm going to do a, a simple vertical speed climb now to 13,000, uh, call it 14,000 feet. Give us uh, something to do here. So I'm going to change, I'm going to select my altitude first. And I'm using the knobs here. It doesn't really matter what we select because I'm going to abort that as we go just to demonstrate something else. Okay, so I've selected 14,500 feet. I'm going to increase my speed and I have now selected need to select my vertical speed which I'm doing with the knob and I'm going to select 2,000 feet there we go 2,000 feet per minute climb and of course I've got to watch the throttles too lots to do in an ERJ cockpit folks it's it's not like driving a bus that is for sure okay so I'm going to let uh, the aircraft settled. I'm trying to maintain 270 knots if you hear me messing around here. In fact, what I should probably do is go ahead and change over to a cruise thrust, which I neglected to do in the enthusiasm of showing you folks how this works. Okay, and we overshot again a little bit. Alrighty, that basically gives you the idea of what we do for. Um, a vertical speed climb and again it demonstrates that it's very easy for the aircraft to overshoot and uh, the way to make sure that you don't overshoot is to be on top of those throttles. Can't Cannot overemphasize that enough. This aircraft does not have auto throttle. Okay, uh, so we've done a vertical speed um, climb. Vertical speed descent is the same thing so I see no benefit to doing a descent in that direction. So let's go ahead and do 
just a simple uh, speed descent. I'm going to uh, set my speed to 250 knots. I'm out of VS, so I can go ahead and do that. And, and I'm going to, let's descend to 12,000 feet. Got a little carried away there. In fact, let's leave it at 8,000. I'm going to show you altitude capture. So we are good to go. Select speed. And here I have to kind of help the aircraft along by slowing down, by pulling back onto the thrust levers. And of course, that'll, that uh, the aircraft uh, pitches down to increase speed because I'm no longer giving it the thrust to maintain airspeed, so it's got to do it some other way. And that is a, that is exactly what an, an SPD climb, uh, rather, excuse me, an SPD descent well, or climb is. In this particular case, a descent. And now it'll slowly pitch up just a little bit to maintain 250. Okay, well, I'm going to stop the descent at 12,000 feet, roughly. And, of course, now my speed bleeds off really quickly. And I overshot just a little bit. That's one way of capturing your altitude. All right. So far, so good. Okay, now we're... Now we're holding at roughly 12,100 feet. And that's basically how you can interrupt a climb or a descent, just by clicking on the, uh, the uh, altitude button at the appropriate uh, altitude. If ever, basically, if ATC says level off where you're at, just reach over and click on that uh, altitude button. Okay. Okay, let's see what else we can do here. We've done a speed descent. We've done an FLC climb. I think the only other thing left to really demonstrate would be a, an FLC descent. Kind of a little bit uh, different than our uh, FLC climb. It doesn't automate airspeed. It automates uh, rate of descent. So let's go ahead and set a lower altitude here. I'm going to go down to 5,100 feet. 5,000 feet even. Let's go ahead and say. So I've got my altitude set. Just go ahead and select FLC. And now the aircraft's going to pitch down at 2,000 foot per minute automatic rate of descent. And I'm just going ahead and I'm throttling back as best I can to keep uh, the aircraft at a reasonable air speed. I'm a little on the fast, fast uh, side here, so I, because, because I'm descending below 10,000 feet, I want to get it down closer to 240. Got to prevent overspeed. Hard on the airframe. And as we're passing through 12,000 to 10,000 feet, uh, FLC is automatically decreasing the rate of descent. And that was the primary thing to show you with uh, an FLC descent. And it uh, stops uh, decreasing uh, at 1,000 uh, feet per minute descent. And uh, that actually pretty well, pretty well takes care of it. So at this point, I've shown you an FLC climb where we have an automatic, uh, basically a pitch governed uh, climb, automatically sets air speeds for you. You have to manage the throttles all the time. FLC descent is a uh, descent governed by. Um, Vertical, you know, vertical, basically vertical speed, and now we're at 1,000 and holding. And of course, for, uh, VS, uh, vertical speed, climb and descent, very, very straightforward. Just set the uh, rate you want to go, manage your, manage your throttles accordingly. Uh, and uh, the, the key thing to remember for all of these uh, vertical modes is the first thing to do is to set your altitude. And that just about wraps it up for this video. Sorry it went a little bit on the long side, but uh, as you can see, there was an awful lot of material to cover, and uh, I think we got there. 
Yeah, of course, if there are any questions, by all means, please do reach out to us uh, at explain.org in the ERJ family uh, forums, and uh, we'll be happy to take care of whatever questions you might have. That said, thank you very much for watching. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a great day.